Hello everyone. Have a good day. Welcome to my class. Today we will discuss on amplitude shift keying, part of digital modulation. So this is the binary modulation, and first one is the ASK or amplitude shift keying, which we will discuss today. So at the end of this lesson. Uh, you will be able to explain the concept of binary modulation and differ differentiate among uh, different modulation types. And then we'll focus on uh, SK, amplitude shift keying, is similar to uh, analog modulation AM, amplitude modulation. Okay, and you will be able to solve the problems uh, involving uh, ASK. So, just a revision or recap of few previous um, terms which we discussed in our previous lesson first is the baud rate means how many times the signal change per second or how many sim symbols transmitted per unit time while bit rate how many bits are transmitted per unit time okay so bit rate is um, controlled by baud rate so let's see this uh, one uh, figure here is this is the uh, bud and the bit bit is um, how many data or bits involved per uh, symbol so here is one you can see zero one one means here two symbol two bit so here is, you can see within one second, there are 10 bits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and four buds in symbol level. So bud rate 10, bit rate also same. Whereas here, two bits used per symbol. Okay, um, so two to the power two means four level PCM. So for each symbol, there are two bits. So bar rate is 10. Still, there are 10 component of the symbol. So 10 while bit rate, because there are two bit per bar, a per sim symbol, so 20 bit per second. While this one, symbol per second or bar per second, bar rate. Okay, now how we can write the uh, bit rate? Because as we have seen in the figures, a B equals FS. This one, our symbol rate or bar rate, multiplication number of bits. Okay, so this is uh, commonly uh, used. Now, FS in terms of Nyquist sampling rate, FS should be 2 FM, eh? means information uh, signal frequency, or FM sometimes can be written B. So 2B into N. Okay, what is N? Number of bits. So it depends on how many level of PCM coding we use, M or L. So N is log M base two, so this. So from here, what is the uh, bandwidth or information bandwidth? We can find out FM or B is FB divided by two log M base two, okay? Or uh, this one is N, two N. So uh, that's all how we can calculate the information signal bandwidth and just revision. Now, little bit revision again, because uh, analog modulation and binary modulation are similar, not the same, because here analog a signal component or the data are used, which is continuous waveform, whereas for digital, they are binary data are used. So AM, similar to ASK, FM, FSK, PM is PSK. So this is the digital modulation scenario. In our last lesson, we focused on source encoding, means line coding. Today, our focus is uh, on binary modulation. So first is ASK. Okay. So now let us see the whole steps involved for um, binary or digital modulation. First stage, analog to digital conversion and uh, the signal converted to in terms of digital uh, code or bits, binary bits using PCM. Okay. Uh, 
and then second stage this binary trans convert in terms of voltage level so that data can be transmitted or through the channel or line so one means for example five volt zero means zero volt and so on we discussed in our last class third step is binary modulation where um, actually we modulate the rf carrier signal means before transmitting this one we have to uh, we have to add the carrier high frequency carrier so that data can be transmitted through the channel very conveniently okay so that's why the carrier signal we have to include okay or make, multiply mixed with the um, line code and the data signal okay zero one zero one okay so this one will be input to the modulator and i will get the modulator signal okay output will be so for example ask fsk or psk now we will discuss about the sk now let us see the binary modulation they are mainly basically three different types of modulation like analog amplitude shift king okay frequency shift king and phase shift king and there is one more which is um means mix of or um mixed of amplitude shift king and phase shift this is quam quadrature amplitude modulation today our focus is ask and ask is amplitude shift king there are two bit level is used zero and one so n is one it's one symbol one bit that's why we, i put here n equals one i can see here in terms of figure graphical representation between the three different types of uh, binary modulation ASK, FSK, CSK. So ASK, if the bit level or the square wave is one, uh, the signal element is this. What is this? This is the carrier. Okay, this is the carrier. So it's capturing the carrier for the bit duration of one. Okay, so one signal element, one bit. Okay, that's why here n equals one. Okay, if zero, it will not capture because it's off on and off like switching so off means there is no signal at all even there is on it will capture the part of the carrier okay and so on so here n is one whereas this is ask for fsk let us see fsk frequency shifting means frequency is shift here amplitude is simply shifting there is amplitude or there is no okay this one will be transmitted or there will be nothing transmitted Whereas for FSK frequency shifting, so frequency will be shifted. So there are two different frequency usually are used. So one is higher frequency, one is lower frequency. Okay. So uh, for higher frequency for one, okay, for bit one higher frequency is used. One signal element one bit for zero is lower frequency is used. And so on. So for FSK n equals also one and here two different carrier frequencies is used actually fsk is a multiplexed version of two ask or addition of two ask okay we'll discuss later during fsk okay now psk phase shifting okay in this case phase is changed so for binary bit is the in phase zero degree Whereas for binary digit zero, it is out of phase, means 180 degrees. So one signal element in this case is one data element, so n. But for PSK, n varies. Okay, it can be uh, two bit, three bit, four bit. Also can be possible. What we'll discuss uh, later during discussing PSK. So let us see ASK. How is ASK? How we do the amplitude shift king modulation so this is the carrier this is our data bit okay they are multiplexed mixed together and their amplitude is various 
means uh, is the constant amplitude, whereas here amplitude vary depending on 0 and 1. Okay, so what is the duration? Bit duration. This is a bit duration, one bit duration. So every sample of the carrier will be captured depending on the bit orientation. So for one, this one. For zero, this nothing multiplied by zero. So it's zero. Okay, one, one. So this is how amplitude shifting uh, is uh, done. Okay, and this is known as o OK also. What is OK? On off king. This one on, this one off. On, on, off. Something like that. Okay. So, uh, how is the uh, generator or uh, transmitter? Okay. Uh, for SK. So, generation again, this is the square wave or line coding is coming. VM means for the modulating signal. Okay. Here, um, the uh, the signal means we have to filter it out unwanted things and then the uh, oscillator okay to uh, multiplier with the signal and this is the carrier vct is going on and after this it will come out the modulated uh, in terms of ask amplitude shift key okay and this this one also can be done in terms of on and off just on there will be captured the um, modulated carrier means modulated off there is no, nothing so this is the <clears throat> carrier is always there and the switch will be on and off on and off okay so this is our input signal carrier and this is the modulated signal as i mentioned so let us see the equation for amplitude shift king okay so amplitude king just like AMA, amplitude modulation 1 BMT, A by 2 cos 2 pi FCT. What is A by 2? Unmodulated carrier amplitude, okay, in terms of voltage. Okay, this is our modulating signal. And FC is carrier frequency. FM is modulation frequency. So usually for ASK, logic 0, negative 1, logic 1, 1. Okay. Uh, it's like it's like that. So let us see how the equation varies. When the empty is one, okay. If this one is one, this one will be one plus one two. So it will be a cos two pi f c t. If this one is negative one for logic zero, this one will be zero. Okay. So why this one used to make this one either value or not value. So if negative one, this one is zero. So this one is becoming zero. So that's uh, why uh, the ASK is vary between uh, either have value or zero. Okay. So VMT could be one or negative. Okay. So now let us see. Suppose this is the our line code. Okay. It is we can see is the first one. Okay. And uh, unipolar okay unipolar uh, linear so here is data which is on the value of the carrier of no value it's on the two bit eh? one one the yeah, one 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 the yeah, zero one just the visual representation now what will be the bad rate and bit rate in this case n equals one we know so the bandwidth is f b over n is 1, f means this is the bit rate. Okay, there's the same bad rate, fb over n is the same. So bit rate and bad rate are same. So for example, um, the bandwidth necessary to pass a 10 kilobit per second binary signal using ASP is what? Okay, what will be the bandwidth? So we know bandwidth fb by n. Actually, bandwidth is uh, actually the uh, fb by n or fb in this case uh, so 10000 divided by 1 is uh, 10000 uh, means 10k kilobit per second eh? i forgot to put the uh, unit you have to put bad rate also the same this is bad per second or symbol per second so um, at the receiver how is the receiver looks like receiver is this okay there are uh, would be the filter again after receiving and then finally uh, encoded 
decoded back to get the original VM uh, for line coding. Okay. And then this is the using envelope detector or the amplitude detector. And this is the coherent detector. So first the, uh, here the multiplier, it's the mixer, okay? And then the carrier amplitude is here, okay? It taken out, then filtered out, we can get back the uh, information signal, which is transmitted. So let us see one example. So amplitude uh, shift key is the form of amplitude modulation eh? that represents digital data as variation in the amplitude of carrier wave, okay? It's just like amplitude. Here only the data is digital, the encoding input, and uh, in analog modulation, amplitude modulation data was continuous waveform. Okay, so given uh, one ASK signal with this information that bit rate 20 kilobit per second. Now, question is asking, the minimum bandwidth of the ASK, the baud rate of the system, and escapes the output of the digital system if the input bit or the line code, eh, it can be in terms of line code also, the binary sequence is to be transmitted wirelessly. So let us see how is it, uh, since the bit rate, okay? So bit rate and bandwidth for SK is same, just now we have seen, so bit rate this. And baud rate also the same as bit rate, so it also will be same, okay? And we have to draw the output of the SK signal. So like bandwidth is this, is 20 kilohertz, okay? And then baud rate also the same. This one is hertz, okay? Bandwidth and the bit rate is bit per second. And the baud rate is symbols per second. So the output of the waveform, first what we have to find out first, we have given the bit rate. So what is the bit timing? Means time of one bit duration of one bit. So one bit duration is TB because one over 20 K and if we calculate it will be 50 microsecond. So our x-axis is time microsecond, y-axis is the uh, voltage level. Okay, the F. Now first bit was one. So we have to calculate the bit time and yeah? this is 50. 100, 150, and so on. Eh? 50, 50, 50, 50 microsecond. Now, the first one is one. One means our, um, the carrier, carrier is here. Zero is no, one, one carrier in this way. So this is one signal element, one bit. How we can represent or draw. So let us come to the summary. We have discussed binary modulation and uh, mainly discussed on the overall binary uh, modulation and, and the scenario, how they differ with each other. And then detailed discussion is done on amplitude shift keying. So our next is frequency shift keying, the next lesson. Okay. So thank you so much. Stay tuned.